intro. What's on your easel? What's on your easel? What's on your easel today? Okay. Um, this week we have some easels from Pamela French. <coughs> Let's see. She just sent them, so I haven't had a chance. This one, she sold this one last week. 24 by 32, oil on board. Ooh, is that your daughter? Huh? What? Oh. Look at that! Framed in everything. That's lovely, Pamela. That's lovely. All right, let's see. That is that one. Where did everything go? And she sold this one. She sold this one. It's 24 by 32 oil on canvas. She sold that one last week. And then she also sent us... Nope, that's not what I want. Hang on, all my icons have changed lately. Uh, one of my most recent done with a September sketch box art pack. We were just talking about getting a September sketch... Uh, getting the... the uh, Sketch pack. Ah, more coyote pups. Pretty. Done with the sketch box. We were just talking about that because the kids always used to get tinker crates. And the uh, they they kind of got. They kind of got too old for tinker crates, and so we were trying to figure out what to do next. And then we decided that we were, we had just, we were just talking about doing the sketch box. Look, here's the sketch box kit. It comes with everything you see. It's got the water brush. It's got the pencils. It's got the the uh, the half inch brush there. It's got inks and paints. A couple little canvas cards, and uh, and a guide. Amsterdam. This one came with Amsterdam acrylic ink. Uh, Two times speedball acrylic ink, so that's got to be what those two are. Derwent paint pen white, general pencil white, water brush medium tip, mixed media tone blue. This is just really cool that it comes with all this stuff, and and then a suggestion for what to do with it. This is just really cool. So uh, we were talking about getting that for the kids just now. I'm glad you sent this to me. Do you like getting your your sketch boxes like that? No, a friend from college. Oh, it's not your daughter. It's a friend from college. Um, do you like getting sketch boxes like that? That's a really cool idea, I think. It kind of kind of forces you to art more frequently. And then my son is infatuated with drawing these anime things. I love that he's drawing all the time, it, but he's he's torn several pages out of his sketchbook. But he is drawing all the time. Well, here they are. I think that's supposed to be Deadpool. He's never he's never seen Deadpool, but this particular view, he's infatuated by this particular view. You know, draw it over and over and over work out the details and then pick out something else to draw. So that's what my son had on his easel. And then my daughter has this book over here. Now I want to show you this because this she did something I never would have thought of doing. We got her we got her this book so she could do Gortober. I'm doing Inktober. Uh, Pamela says the sketchbook this month is really cool with the Inktober stuff. because that, So that's why they gave you all the ink and brushes. So uh, she wanted to do Gortober so we got her this this uh, mixed media, supposed to be a mixed media sketchbook, hardcover, and she liked it. But then she came in with her, with all of her inks and stuff. And the first thing she did was she did a swatch test, and she said it absorbed the colors, and it, the colors don't pop like they're supposed to. It absorbed the colors, and so she doesn't like it for that. She doesn't mind sketching in it and using it as a mixed media journal, uh, as a mixed media book. But she doesn't like the way that the the pages soak up her soak up her ink, and you know, I never even it never even would have occurred to me to do this. I'm so proud of her for thinking about stuff like that. It it never even 
would have occurred to me. Uh, and then last night, my wife decided, my beautiful young bride decided she was going to start Inktober also. And so she went back to the first day's prompt, which was rings, which was ring. And you can see she started with rings for her Zentangle. And so she did this one last night for day one of Inktober. And then she started this one for day two, which day two was uh, mindless. I think day two is mindless. And so she started day two. Day three is bait. We we haven't started we haven't started bait yet tonight. So uh, that's day three. So we'll we'll get on that tonight. Now for me, for my daily uh, random object randomographer stuff. I have done, let's see, when did I do this? I did this one Monday, which is a ram on his side. And then I missed a couple of days. But no, the 30th, this is Tuesday, this was a dinosaur skull. I'm trying to do them in, in uh, fountain pen. I want to, I'm going to stick with fountain pen until I finish this until I finish this one book and when I finish this one book then I'm going to go back to I'm going to go back to pencils because I, I I think I need to learn some more control in pencils so there's the the uh, random object randomographer and then I think I think you've seen the snail already I think I already showed you the snail before but just in case I haven't there's the there's the snail mini that I painted I don't remember if I showed that to you last week or not and then I did a watercolor here, playing with some watercolors. What you doing, buddy? Nothing. Just wanted to come outside and draw. Cool. I love that you're out here with me. And so I did a watercolor. Uh, this was the 27th, so this would have been, what, Saturday? So that was fun. And then... What else do I have going on over here? I have, after this, I did a set of hands. Just one set of hands. I'm supposed to do a set of hands every day. I did one set of hands. And then I did a face. Which is okay, because faces only came up once in the rotation. So, But I did one face. And one of these days, this, this lady is a beautiful uh, artist, local here. And uh, one of these days, I'm going to be able to paint her, and it's going to look like her. This does not do her justice. She is she is absolutely stunning. As far as I can tell, the only flaw I mean she even has she even has the two tone green and and amber eyes. Uh, but as far as I can tell her only flaw is she's not a she's not a ginger. But that's probably a good thing because you know that keeps my marriage safe. Um, so there's that and then Inktober Oh no, we we I did an art journal page last night. Because that came up in rotation. When did the show start? Uh, about an hour ago. No, about 45 minutes ago. So last night I did uh, a Halloween -y page. It's Halloween -y time. It's Halloween -y time. And then finally, that gets us to Inktober. And so for Inktober, let's see, there's the 23rd, there's the 25th, that's a Wednesday, so I know you saw that one. Here's the 30th, that's a Monday, but that's not Inktober. Inktober started with ring, so I did that acrobatic ring. And then day two is mindless, so I did... Um, oh, what's that girl's name from Clueless? I can't think of her name. It's Alicia Silverstone. Alicia Silverstone from Mindless. And in this book, I've got this little torn piece of of a file folder so that it doesn't bleed through. And then I have my artistic biker so that when I take pictures, it doesn't show the the previous day's picture. <laughs> and 
and that is what was on my easel that is what was on your easel if you would like to be a part of what's on your easel simply send an email to blade at artisticbiker.com we will use your works to inspire other people to do stuff because that's what this whole shebang is all about is inspiring people to Uno momento, mama. what's wrong Oh, you said Uno Momento. Uno Momento, He's speaking a Spanish. He's, he's speaking Spanish. All right. That said, this is not quite dry, so we're going to dry this just a little bit more, and we'll take a little break, and we'll be right back. You know we don't really go anywhere. That's just something we say for the for the uh, YouTubers. You need to subscribe to this channel. You need to subscribe to this channel. You need to subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to the Artistic Biker now. Click the buttons.